I'd always heard people talk about the Gaiety. I come from Glasgow, so I didn't really know much about it, but people have this love for the Gaiety, and um, you just hear people, oh, I remember going to the Gaiety when I was a young girl, and they have so many fond memories of the Gaiety. It's, it's an amazing place to be. I first came here 42 years ago. My husband came to run this theatre, but after that I spent quite a bit of time here. Very happy years. It's the history behind the theatre and everyone remembers it from, you know, the granny to, you know, uh, dance schools performing here, so people have a real connection with the theatre. I was chaperone for the children in the pantomime which was an exciting time for them because they got paid. I think they got a pound of performance and we used to give them a little pay packet. It's funny because I, when I'm sitting at the desk selling tickets, there's occasionally someone will come in and I think they look very familiar to me and it turns out that it was probably one of my babes and they're now mummy and they've got a few children. <laughs> it's a bit frightening. I mean, there was lot, lots of people who were quite famous at the time. I mean, we had Norman Wisdom at one point, and Jack Milroy, of course, was a big favourite, and Johnny Beatty, both big favourites. Ricky Fulton. In my husband's day, he, uh, the first thing he did was Benny Lynch. Apparently, he was the first person to use the F word on the stage at the Gaiety. I don't think it was quite popular with some people. In my husband's day, shows were twice nightly, six o'clock and eight o'clock and big queues right round the building to get in. All the ladies come in with their shopping at, at six o'clock after they've finished their shopping. Lots of bus parties in the summer, all coming down, having their high tea, and then coming in to see the show. Just entirely different to what it is now. So much of the entertainment industry has changed, and it'd be a shame to lose that, you know, it'd be a shame to actually um, lose that live entertainment so I think people were really keen to get this place opened. It had been closed for five years so when we opened those doors for the first panto we didn't know if anybody would be coming, we didn't know if we would, we'd sell out. I came back as a volunteer and uh, I do the ticket desk usually which is very interesting and it's amazing how many people come in and say oh are you still here? <laughs> I definitely think we are doing our best to get and the variety culture that the Gaiety was once known for. And um, I think we're, the programme will get stronger and stronger. You tend to say, oh, it's not like it used to be, but you just have to stop saying that because everything, there's nothing the same as it used to be. It's, uh, it's still exciting.